What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? This is your boy Jay, and welcome back to another FC Cincinnati vlog. For the first time ever in about a long time, I actually got my hair cut, so it actually looks pretty decent for this one. And I'm not too upset about how I'm looking today. It looks pretty good. So now, let me get back to the actual point of this video. Today we got a game against Charlotte Independence. This is actually going to be the first of three games um, in a row. Actually, four games in a row um, for, the, for the boys in blue and orange. Uh, this was the first USL game, and then obviously on Wednesday is the big MLS show against Columbus Crew. Um, but to fo let's focus on the game for today. Um, last last time out, they actually played Rochester and actually lost one nil. Um, the manager decided to rest the, a lot of key players, which is probably smart, especially with this homestand that's coming up. And now we actually have we also have one guy out on international duty, uh, Victor Matsure, which is pretty solid. You know, this is the second person ever for the club that's actually gone out on international duty. He actually plays for Sierra Leone, um, so that's going to be that's exciting for him. So kudos to him why he's out on duty and hope he does well. But in the meantime, we need to start. We got to do very well in this game. I want to see us get at least two goals. Hopefully, um, Charlotte is actually a very solid team. I uh, looked at their kind of their, their, their record right now in the last five in their form. They're actually pretty good. So hopefully we can get down to the stadium, get get to see some very good quality action, and I'm hoping for the boys to actually bring out something for us. In the meantime, I hope you all enjoy this ride with me, and let's go FCC. The Panthers still following into the game. It looks like it's going to be a very packed one today. This should be really exciting to get started. It was four game holes there. I'm about to enjoy this. Get ready to have a good one, Cincinnati. Let's go. <laughs> Got aggressive towards the end, which is good for us. 
but we got to make sure we pick it up on the defensive end for the second half. We want to get this game back. Uh, like I said, two goals would be nice. Hold them off for the rest of the game. And get us a, get us a win going into Wednesday. Let's go FCC. Alright guys, so you may notice that I'm actually recording this video a little bit later. Obviously, my attire for the top is a little bit different, but I kind of want to give a recap of last night's game. Honestly, Shauna came out with a lot of urgency. They came out to attack, and we saw it where they got a lot of chances in the beginning of the first half. And I think they put one in the back of the goal right above Mitch, and I believe in the first 15 minutes or so, if I can remember correctly. Um, but uh, right before the half, uh, Justin Hoyt got us a great goal to put us back in one all. When I said one nil in the video, early in the video, it should have been one all. So I try to correct myself in that. But it was good in terms of getting that goal back. Second half, plenty of chances on both sides. Didn't really amount to us getting a goal, which we had some spectacular chances at the end, which I honestly wish would have went out because it would have been great to get three points going into Wednesday's competition and Wednesday's match. But in the same in the same thought process, it's good that they actually at least found ways to make chances for themselves. Uh, defensively, it has to be a lot better. The, the back four, as much as they are very talented, is still kind of a, a little bit of an issue in terms of communication. Because honestly, the back four in terms of talent-wise, they were very good. But if they continue to let over-the-top through balls go through, uh, puts Mitch in a very uh, bad position, and he may not be able to save all of those. We got, we're granted, we we're blessed with the fact that we have Mitch in, in goal, but you can only do but so much. You got to have that that stellar back line give him so much more help. And they have the talent. I'm not saying they can't do it. It can be done. Um, it just needs to be more consistent. Because even with an MLS team coming in on Wednesday, even with Valencia CF coming in in, a, in about a month, in about a month and two weeks from now, they need to be able to shore up that back line in order for us to really have success. Uh, the attack and play will be there. A lot of passes they should they were making last night were all over the map, back heels from from no position, um, trying to play the ball for it, not even looking to see where the defenders are from that point of view. And just making inerrant passes. And on top of that, making passes that the attackers for them are just intercepting and they're making small runs. They have to be able to actually stop that, look and see what's on the field. Yes, anticipation is there, but at the same time, you got to be able to know where is the defender in regards to me making that next play. So hopefully they get this, they, they go back to the training pitch today or tomorrow when they're going back and figure out, okay, what is the best way to attack? How are we going to get there? And how are we going to make it more efficient for us in order for us to succeed? And I think that's going to be very critical for the guys in order for them to even have a shot in order to show with the MLS that, hey, we are here. We're not just some random like phenomenon that just popped up in Cincinnati. We are here. We know what we're able to do. We're going to come out here and show you guys. So I'm, I believe in the guys. I know they can do it. They just got to get back to the basics, and I believe that's my opinion. And yes, I'm not a soccer aficionado. I just see, I just relay what I see on the pitch. That's just how I am, and I think they can do it. So hopefully they get it done um, this week in, in training. Uh, Wednesday is going to be exciting. Like I said, I'm going to definitely be vlogging that too. You got to get down to the stadium. We're early for that one because it's going to be packed. It's going to be loud. It's going to be raucous. It's going to be exciting. So, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please drop a like at the bottom of the video. Share this with your friends. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. I'll bring in, like I said, more vlogs this season because there's just so many more games that I didn't anticipate. But it's going to be so much more content that I can bring to you all. So, in the meantime, I hope you guys enjoy. It's your boy, Jay. I hope you have a good one. Peace out.